biggest NHL bust, Brian Lawton. You wouldn't have thought that Brian Lawton was the number one overall pick in the NHL draft with how dreadful his NHL career turned out to be, but he was. Brian Lawton is often cited as one of the biggest draft busts in NHL history because he struggled to produce at the level of expectation of a number one pick. To compound the fact that he struggled to produce, there were several players taken after him that went on to have Hall of Fame careers. In this episode, I will be talking about Brian Lawton, one of the biggest busts of all time, and what could have been done to prevent him from being a bust. Brian Lawton's draft hype leading up to the 1983 NHL draft was substantial. He was touted as one of the most talented prospects in his draft class and was widely expected to be selected early in the first round, if not first overall. Lawton had an impressive junior career playing for the Mount St. Charles Academy in Rhode Island, where he showcased his scoring ability and leadership qualities and solidified his status as a top prospect. In his draft year, Lawton scored 40 goals and 83 points in 23 games with Mount St. Charles Academy High School and Woonsocket, Rhode Island, leading them to consecutive championships. Coming into the NHL, Lawton was considered a highly skilled and dynamic forward with the ability to score goals and create plays. His combination of speed, agility, and hockey sense made him a coveted prospect. At the time, it was still relatively rare for American-born prospects to be selected high in the NHL draft, let alone first overall. Lawton's sta status as a top American prospect added to the intrigue surrounding him. Lawton's draft year coincided with a period of increased media coverage of the NHL entry draft. As a result, there was a heightened scrutiny. As a result, there was heightened scrutiny and attention on top prospects like Lawton, which further amplified the hype surrounding him. Brian Lawton was selected first overall in the 1983 NHL entry draft by the Minnesota North Stars, now the Dallas Stars, making history as the first American-born player to be selected first overall. He made his debut during the 1983-84 four season, Lyon played for the North Stars for four seasons from 1983 to 1987 during his time with the North Stars but struggled to live up to the expectations of a first overall draft pick. He battled injuries and inconsistency which limited his production on the ice. Despite this, Lyon managed to tally respectable numbers during his tenure with the North Stars. During Lyon's tenure with the Minnesota North Stars, he tallied a total of 50 goals, 95 assists, or a total of 140 five points in 235 regular season games. In the summer of 1987, Lyon was traded to the Nor Lyon was traded to the New York Rangers in exchange for Ford Terry Wilson and future considerations. This marked the end of his time with the Minnesota North Stars. After recording 17 points in 30 games with the New York Rangers to start the 1988-89 season, he was dealt to the Hartford Whalers, where he would play until the where he would play until the end of the 89-90 season. Lyon turned into somewhat of a journeyman after the 1989-90 season, playing for the Quebec Nordiques, Boston Bruins, and San Jose Sharks in the NHL. He would also spend time in the AHL with the Maine Mariners and the IHL with the Phoenix Roadrunners, Kansas City Blades, and Cincinnati Cyclones. Brian Lawton retired after the 1992-93 season, having put up only 112 goals, 154 assists, and 266 points. While Lawton did have a lengthy career in the NHL and played for several teams over the span of a decade, his production and impact on the ice did not match the expectations placed upon him as a top draft pick. What could have been done to prevent him from being a draft bust? Brian Lyon is often regarded as a draft bust due to the significant disparity between the expectations associated with being selected first overall in the NHL draft and his actual on-ice performance during his NHL career. Lyon's performance on the ice was inconsistent during his NHL career. While he showed flashes of talent and potential, he struggled to maintain consistency in his production and overall impact on the game. Lyon's career was also plagued by injuries which hampered his ability to reach his full potential. These injuries not only limited his playing time but also affected his performance when he was able to play. As the first American born player to be selected first overall in the NHL draft, Lawton faced immense pressure to succeed. The expectations associated with such a high draft position were extremely difficult to meet, and Lyon ultimately fell short of fulfilling those lofty expectations that accompanied his selection. While Lyon had a lengthy NHL career spanning over a decade, his statistical output did not match the expectations of a first overall draft pick. Lyon's status as a draft bust 
is also influenced by comparisons to other players in the same 1983 draft class who achieved greater success in the NHL. When measured against careers of other top picks in the same draft class, Lawton's performance appears underwhelming. Hall of Fame players drafted after Brian Lawton include Pat LaFontaine, Steve Yarzerman, Tom Barrasso, and Cam Neely. Why is Brian Lawton a draft bust? Being the first overall pick and the first American-born player to be drafted first overall puts a lot of pressure on a draft prospect who is fresh out of high school with no professional hockey experience. It is super rare to have a high school player being drafted so high in the draft, never mind first overall, because making the jump from high school hockey to the NHL is a massive leap. If Brian Lawton wasn't so highly hyped and wasn't the first overall pick in the draft, he might have a higher chance to succeed because he wouldn't be under as much pressure. Being drafted to the Minnesota North Stars, a notoriously poor run organization, did Brian Lawton no favors and made his transition from high school to the NHL much more difficult. If Lawton was drafted to a better organization with some experience of developing draft prospects, he may have turned into a better player. Due to a combination of circumstance, lack of production, and injuries, Brian Lawton is one of the biggest draft of all time.